And I felt like we played better on the offensive line as well, their run game. Obviously, Deacon didn't look great, but I don't know how much stock he put into that. I mean, obviously, a lot of overthrows. He took overthrow a lot. Obviously, someone should have been caught. Seth should have been caught. I think Eric Hall had a drop, too. But, like, in that retrospect, too, he was overthrowing a lot of people. So we'll see how it works next week for sure. But the one thing I wanted to get to is, like, the wide receivers, like, we've never seen wide receivers. I mean, we have, but, like, you know, most of the time when they throw this, like, they throw the tight ends. You know I mean? That's how so many tight ends are in the NFL with Kittle, Fant, Hawkinson, you know, just like that. Like, that's how many, so many in the NFL could they use them over abundance. But I feel like eventually, I don't understand how teams can't stop it. Like, I've watched it for 27 years. I just don't understand how teams can't stop it. Like, if they know that's the guy you're going to, how can't teams stop it? Well, you've heard, yeah, you've heard, uh, it was brought up during the broadcast today that, uh, Brian Ferentz, I love when they bring this up too. The 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 Kirk and Brian philosophy that we should be able to get up to the line of scrimmage, run the ball. You know we're running the ball, but we're going to run the ball anyways and be successful with that. Yeah. Um, that has not traditionally worked at Iowa in the run game. It just hasn't. That's why Iowa's offense is typically not good. Um, now it's it's worked at Wisconsin at times. It's worked obviously with some teams that uh, across the country that have you know four and five star athletes. Alabama being one. You know your blue bloods like an Ohio State or Penn State. But in general, it's hard to play football that way now. And um, you're right. What Iowa does with the tight ends is pretty unbelievable, especially given the fact that if I'm a opposing defense, boy, I, I mean, there are times when I, when it feels like an Iowa quarterback, not just Deacon Hill, but any Iowa quarterback, doesn't even look the direction of the wideouts. There was a play, and Don talked about running back involvement in the passing game last week as well. He wants to see the was- more involved. You had the LaShawn Williams uh miss right the the yeah. throw to the end zone by deacon and it was into double coverage leshawn williams is wide open um on the right side of the field and you know those are the ones you look at uh, on tape but they got to be corrected during the game so what was your thoughts on deacon i thought he was bad that's what i thought you said i just wanted to know what your thoughts were on him because i, I- really bad he just overthrew a lot and overshot. And to be honest with you, on the air call one, too, I thought it was going to be overthrow, too. And then I saw him kind of like let up and I was like, okay, I think he has this one. But I thought he was really bad, James. He was 6 to 21 for a buck 10, one touchdown, one INT, 5.2 yard per attempt average. I did just get the official box score from Iowa. Let me pull this up here. Uh, but with that being said, as I pull up the box score, I want to make clear I am not giving up on Deacon Hill after one game. Yeah, All no, right? I'm not saying that either. I was just asking how you felt like he was. We, we can admit that he was not very good and still acknowledge that, hey, uh, this is his first career start. They got the win, but he's got to get better. Uh, yeah, his numbers officially, we got 6 of 21, a buck 10. So that's an accurate number. I was looking at ESPN, and that is accurate. A long of 33 yards. And Eric All, 11 targets, five catches on those 11 targets. So not incredibly efficient. He had some drops. Made a couple of great plays, 97 yards and a touchdown. He looks like the best player in offense right now. Caleb Johnson had, uh, let's see, one catch, one catch for 13 yards. Deontay Vines, three targets, no catches. Nico Ragaini, two targets, zero catches. Seth Anderson, two targets, zero catches. Leshawn Williams, one target, zero catches. Caleb Brown didn't even play either. I watched. I was looking for him after I seen your tweet in the first half, and he wasn't in the second half at all. So I'm being intrigued to see why he wasn't in. There's one more. I'm guessing it didn't get brought up given the win. Was there any question to Kirk about, you know, did he have a decision to make at halftime? Did he consider moving to Joe Labus? It, it got, brought, it got uh, the Labus thing got brought up, and he he just he shot that way down. He's like, what? Why? You know, so there was never any consideration to go to Joe Labus at halftime. None at all. Well, that's an interesting so. response, Don. Uh, maybe that maybe there was a little bit of cynicism there from Kirk, but were you thinking maybe we're looking at a change at halftime? Given the to be honest with you, I would have been very surprised if that would have happened. <clears throat> Simply because I think they've they've um, it appears they've very definitely decided that Deacon offers them a better chance to win than Joey. Yep. Yeah, well, I, that I understand was kind that. of Kirk's. That was kind of Kirk's message was Deacon's our, our quarterback. Yeah, but see, that, that, that's not going to re- – fan. I'm not – I'm not. believe me, I'm not down on Deacon after his first career start. I'm going to make that clear. But, you know, obviously that's been the narrative. That was the narrative for three years with Spencer Petrus, and that got under the fan base's skin. I, I mean, at some point, 
performance does matter. And but but at the same time, maybe right. that's reason to not expect Kirk to toy with the quarterback, even if it is Deacon. I mean, I, I guess my thinking on this was too, Tom. Deacon, it's not like he had built up some great trust. He didn't have a lot of equity. Yeah. Yeah. Like Spencer Petrus, I guess, had because he had been a part of a lot of wins. So I just thought maybe, maybe he does go to, to uh, Joe who did have some equity with that win in the music city bowl. 